I decided to start a foundation based on helping poor children, the very poorest in the world, get education. And I decided I was going to try to do something in an orderly and systematic way to help them and other children for the permanent good of education. Hence, the Bill Cook Foundation. I actually have two boards. I have an 11 member board of directors, which of course has legal responsibility for the foundation. And I have a board of, of 11 distinguished advisors. At the Bill Cook Foundation, we believe in education, not just primary education, not just university, not just any one particular form, not just liberal arts or vocational or whatever. We believe in education. The word means to lead out of ignorance. And so we want every child to get all the education he or she can, can absorb and benefit from. So at one end of the spectrum, we're working with an orphanage in Vietnam, in the city of Ben Hoa, that has children who are mentally disabled. On the other hand, we're sponsoring children in several countries, in Laos, in Cambodia, in Honduras, in Kenya, to go to university because we want the students who are excellent students to have that opportunity to develop the skills to become leaders and entrepreneurs in their society. So we, we're working the whole spectrum from students going to university to students who are mentally disabled, learning how to do the very simple things they're capable of learning because we provided them with some educational aids. My own travels have taken me really all over the world. So we're working in Latin America, for example, primarily with children who have been trafficked or children who have been rescued from gangs. We're working in primarily Eastern Europe to work especially with Roma children because they face such great discrimination and some of them are still in camps in various parts of Eastern Europe as a result of the Balkan Wars of 20 years ago. We're working in Africa where we're doing all kinds of things. We're doing things from building a library and getting it stocked with books to helping students go to vocational school in Ethiopia to helping orphans by paying their school fees in Uganda. So we're working in various countries in Africa and then we're working in South and Southeast Asia. In India, we're working with a school a few blocks from where Mother Teresa lived and where she is buried, in fact. And then we're working in Southeast Asia a great deal and with a focus on Myanmar, in part for personal reasons. My dad was a soldier there in World War II when I was an infant. And as I traveled around in kind of a nostalgia trip a few years ago, I met extraordinary needs in an orphanage, uh, in small villages outside the city of Mandalay, and in other places as well where we've been able to help children in this very poor and disturbed country to get education. 